Oh, I feel like today's like a national holiday or something. I'm so excited for my Spotify wrapped. I'm nervous, even though I kind of know what's gonna be on there already, but maybe I'll be surprised. I don't know, I haven't looked at it yet today. This is the first time that I'm looking at it. So here we go. So the opening credits to my movie would be <laughs> Nah by Alex G. The song playing as you defeat the ancient vengeful spirit. No love. Okay. <laughs> I did listen to that song a lot, so. The song playing as you proclaim your love in the rain. It's only sex by car seat headrest. I did listen to that a lot too. Oh no. I spent 37,042 minutes listening. It's more than 87%. I'm kind of surprised how low that is. I don't remember what mine was last year. I spent 31,000 minutes listening. But maybe it's the same. I was in a huge music slump until about March, so more Alex G. While everyone was trying to figure out what NFTs were, you had one song on repeat. Again, ah, by Alex G. I played this song 46 times. I'm surprised, so quick pause. I listened to Edamame. Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's a Baby No Money song with Rich Brian. It came out a few months ago. I swear to God, I listened to that song a bajillion times. It was so good. So I'm surprised that wasn't that one, but that wasn't the only song in my rotation. <laughs> I don't even want to show it. This is so bad. Um, I mean, no one's surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm embarrassed because it's probably annoying at this point, so I'm so sorry. But Nah, Hope, Remember, House, TV, all Alex G. Okay, we'll skip that. <laughs> I deserve a playlist as long as your skincare routine. So we'll look at that after. I'll add that to my library. Looking at all the songs. Probably gonna be all Alex G, Young Gravy, Spencer Radcliffe. In a year like 2021, even your music gets a vibe check. Time to unveil my audio aura. This is cute this year. My top music moods are ecstatic and wistful. Interesting. <laughs> At least it's not sad. I'm glad it's not sad. I listened to 107 different genres this year. My top genres. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I feel like this is so stereotypical and kind of annoying at this point, so I'm sorry, but my top genres. <laughs> Our Midwest emo, slowcore, indie rock, lo-fi indie, and bubble grunge. That honestly sums me up to the T. If you know me, this is me. It's so funny. <laughs> Let's play two truths and a lie. Tap the false statement. My number one Spotify playlist of the year was Daily Mix 2. Comedy was your number one podcast topic of the year. The podcast you binge listened to the most was Tiny Meat Gang. False is probably the Daily Mix 2. <gasps> what? Tiny Meat Gang was a lie? What? The podcast I binge listened to the most was Jen and Julian. It was kind of hard because I listened to both of them like a lot this year, but I didn't know that. Okay, that's fair. There was one podcast that lived in your head rent free all year long. Yeah, Jen and Julian. I listened to 68 episodes for a total of 2,900 minutes. I miss them so much. It makes me so sad. And I listened to it for nostalgia and just because listening to Jen and Julian talk is very comforting and I really like feeling like I'm hanging out with them and it's really nice, so. I listen to all their podcasts all the time still. My top podcast, Jen and Julian, Tiny Meat Gang, and Last Podcast on the Left. I've listened to maybe a few Last Podcasts on the Left, but not many, but definitely Tiny Meat Gang a lot and Jen and Julian a lot when I'm driving, so. I listen to 1,800 different artists, but things got pretty serious with one. My top artist was Alex G. I was in the top 0.1% of their listeners this year. Cool beans. I spent a total of 2,138 minutes with them and just couldn't get enough of nah. See, I feel like I have seen people with over 10,000 listening minutes of one artist. I'm not as crazy of an Alex G fan as you guys think I am. 2,000 minutes isn't too many compared to like a lot of other people's I've seen. I'm not crazy, I promise. <laughs> My top artist, I... I called this. So first, we know first. Second, Spencer Radcliffe. Three, Horse Jumper of Love. Four, Coma Cinema. Five, Tyler. I'm kind of surprised Tyler's on here. I haven't listened to him as much as I did in previous years. I feel like this year was just kind of like on and off with him, so I'm surprised he's on here. Same with Coma Cinema. Haven't listened to them a crazy amount to where they'd be number four. So I'm kind of surprised they're on here too. I listened to Worst Party Ever a lot this year. Kind of surprised, I don't know. But there's the top five. <laughs> God, this is embarrassing. 
All right, well, there was that. Let's take a look at the playlist. I don't even want to look at it. It's just going to be all Alex G, and that's not fun for anyone. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that song was called Edamame that I was talking about. Yeah, so Edamame's on here, Sun Poisoning, NASCAR, Lower Town, Spencer Radcliffe, Turnstile, Raven Lene. Young Gravy. I'm surprised there's not more Young Gravy on here. Lower Town again. Okay, so it looks like my mic is dying, so I'm gonna have to hurry up. But yeah, there's just like a lot of Alex G, Turnstile, Aubrey Key, some Casey, Teen Suicide. Honestly, just Kelsey music. <laughs> A lot of slowcore, one hot mulligan song, and yeah. Yeah, I don't know, that was really fun. I'm kind of surprised by a few things on there, but here we are. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.